Hello friends, welcome back to course on integrated pest management. Today let us discuss important pests of sugar cane and how we are going to manage these pests on sugar cane. Sugar cane is one of the important commercial crop. It is grown throughout the country and India is the largest producer of sugar cane and also sugar. In the process of its production, so it is going to encounter many problems among them insect pests are major ones. As many as 200 species of insects have been recorded on this sugar cane, but only few insects are quite important in reducing the yield. In India, the major states like Uttar and Maharashtra, they grow a lot of sugar cane and at the same time they are going to produce higher amount of sugar in the country. So these are the important pests which are occurring in different states, among them Lepidopteran pests like early shoot borer, internode borer and top shoot borer and other than these Lepidopteran pests, there are few sucking insect pests and also occasion pests which are going to infest this important crop sugar cane. Immediately after sowing or immediately after planting, this early shoot borer, it is going to occur and here this early shoot borer eggs are laid in 3 to 5 rows in the masses of 4 to 100 and after hatching the dirty white colored larvae which is having a dark violet longitudinal stripes and pupation will take place in sugar cane or cane itself and afterwards the adult emerges out. Since it is early occurring pest and because of its attack dead hearts are going to produce and from this dead heart the rotten offensive odor it is coming out when you pull it out and thereby it is going to produce a number of holes at the base of the sugar cane. And next important pest that is internode borer that is Kylo saccharifagus. So eggs are oval in shape and the larva it is white body with dark spots on the dorsal region and pupation takes place in cane itself and after 7 to 8 days the pupa it is going to emerge, emerge as adult and almost this adult it is living for 3 to 4 days. So this internode borer it is more important once the cane starts producing this internodes and there are many holes are uh, present in between uh, these internodes and uh, because of its attack the internodes are shortened or as well you can say constricted many holes are uh, uh, present in between uh, internodes and uh, the when you cut open the fresh cane so inside you will see the uh, reddening color of the tissues. Next uh, top shoot borer it is also one of the important pests throughout the country and uh, more in uh, North India then South, the buff colored eggs are laid on the leaf and larvae is creamy white in color and having this red color midrib and the pupation takes place inside the cane and the white adults emerges out after 7 to 9 days. So since it enters through midrib and it is going to affect the growing shoots and because of uh, its uh, cutting across the spindle, so series holes are present on the leaves and because of this the bunchy appearance is uh, uh, produced hence uh, it is going to affect the growing shoot and uh, bunchy shoot appearance is a common phenomena in uh, top shoot borer. The other uh, sucking pest and uh, one is uh, ulia feed. It is Saratovacana lanigera. It was a very severe pest some a decade back 
and now it is uh, occurring uh, sporadically. And uh, in South India, Maharashtra and uh, Karnataka, they are the uh, major states wherein uh, this uh, wool aphid caused much damage. Both uh, nymphs and adults, they are going to suck the canes and because of uh, this uh, continuous uh, sucking by both uh, nymphs and adults, the leaves become yellow and uh, because of honeydew secretion, there is uh, development of shooty mold on the uh, leaves and in severe cases, this white chalk powder is seen on the uh, entire surface of the leaf and also even on the surface of the soil. Then uh, sugarcane leaf hopper, it is uh, Pyrilla purposella. It is also one of the important uh, sucking pest which is occurring uh, throughout the India, but uh, major states are uh, Punjab and uh, Uttar Pradesh wherein it occurs continuously. Here both uh, nymphs and adults, they are going to suck the sap and because of its uh, continuous uh, sucking, the margins of the leaves become yellow and uh, here also this is going to emit uh, the honeydew secretion on the various surface of the leaves. Because of this black sooty mold development is uh, seen and uh, because of its continuous attack, there is uh, lateral bud germination is also seen. Because of its attack, the juice quality is uh, reduced ultimately the overall reduction in the yield. Root grub. So, this is uh, one pest, uh, it is occurring at uh, early stage, especially during uh, May and June. The adults which are emerging in uh, after pre monsoon uh, showers and they are going to lay the eggs in uh, soils, and most of the times the light soils or sandy soils uh, they are uh, wherein the it attacks more in uh, sandy soils and also red soils. Eggs are uh, laid in the soils and uh, the grub will be uh, C shaped and normally the early instars uh, first and second instar uh, grubs they are feeding on uh, organic matter and uh, next after a third instar they are going to feed on uh, sugar cane uh, roots and rootlets. Because of its uh, feeding entire uh, drying of uh, crown is uh, uh, seen. So, it uh, when you pull it, it uh, comes very easily. Sometimes it also very serious on, uh, in uh, some of the areas uh, like uh, in uh, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Maharashtra and also in uh, Karnataka that is uh, scale insect. And uh, here both uh, nymphs and adults, they are going to suck uh, the sap continuously. Because of uh, its uh, uh, sucking, the overall uh, plant growth is uh, uh, stunted and uh, as well you can see uh, this uh, encrustation on the uh, stem and sometimes even on the leaf also. And because of its continuous feeding, there is a reduction in the uh, juice quality and also yield. Overall there is a, a reduction in uh, even jaggery production also. And another pest that is uh, termite and it is also occurring uh, in uh, patches and uh, whenever you grow this uh, sugar cane in uh, red and uh, sandy soils, wherein uh, you see the lot of problem of uh, this uh, uh, termite. Since it occurs at uh, planting stage, normally poor germination of the sets is seen and because of this uh, uh, poor germination, gappy appearance is a uh, common and uh, feeds characteristically that is uh, in a semicircular manner. And, uh, uh, as well, uh, there is uh, drying of uh, shoots is also uh, seen and uh, these termites, they are going to fill up the organic matter or even uh, uh, soil inside the uh, hollow cane. The occasionally occurring pest that is uh, sugar cane uh, white fly. So, it is also sometimes uh, becomes important and here also both uh, uh, nymphs and adults, they are going to uh, suck this up because of this uh, continuous sucking, the plants become stunted and uh, even uh, sometimes as well you can uh, record 30 to 40 percent uh, yield loss because of this pest. Okay, these are the some of the important pests and uh, their uh, nature of damage. In our next class, we will uh, discuss about uh, the uh, various uh, tactics or uh, management uh, practices that can be adapted uh, for uh, these uh, sugarcane pests. Thank you.